Hello guys and welcome to Otson Copa Libertadores on Saturday we have the big final we have Palmeiras Flamengo in Montevideo in the Estadio Centenario and we have Leo Bachanian with us to analyze this final so of course I want to know as well your opinion so leave a comment below with your tips and predictions and your opinion for this big final and don't forget click on the like subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications so now let's go on with the show This Saturday we have the great final of Copa Libertadores in Montevideo in the Monumental and of course we have Leo Bachanian with us to analyze this great final. How are you Leo? Hello Edu, a pleasure again to be, to be with you now this time with the Copa Libertadores final. Wow, wow, wow. It's, it's massive, it's massive the Copa Libertadores. Edu, I know that the pinnacle of uh, club football is the Champions League, probably the Champions League is the biggest football prize no after the the world cup i know that kids in most parts of the world dream of lifting the the orejona one day but down there in the south of the globe the copa libertadores is, is massive is part of south american football uh, clubs without mentioning the significance of the of the libertadores uh, of course as a boca juniors fan myself Edu, i would have loved to see my club uh, uh, there but still, I cannot wait for Saturday to come and enjoy this uh, Palmeiras against uh, Flamengo. And hopefully, for those watching the, the show, we can help them to win some, some money as well. Exactly. Let's uh, try to make some money out of this huge game. This time is uh, only one game. We were used to see the Copa Libertadores final in two legs, but this one is going to be played in the Monumental in Montevideo, Uruguay, only one leg, two Brazilian clubs, Palmeiras and Flamengo, second and third, respectively in the Brazilian Serie A. And you mentioned Boca Juniors, Leo, so let's start, for instance, for Boca Juniors, because since Boca won the Copa Libertadores in 2000 and 2001, no club has won back-to-back -back titles, but Palmeiras, surprisingly, they are in the final. They won last season, the last year, the Copa Libertadores. And when we were analyzing this Copa Libertadores in the knockout stages, Leo, especially the semifinal, we didn't expect Palmeiras to arrive to this game. They were the underdog when they were playing against Atletico Mineiro. And if we check the odds for this uh, big game, we see how Flamengo, they are the huge favorites. And the last time we were talking about the clubs in um, South America, Leo, you told me that Flamengo, no doubt, was the best club in South America. You still think the same thing? Yes, I still think uh, the same. Last night uh, for the Brasileirao, they both played. Palmeiras played against um, against Atletico Mineiro, who are the, the champions in making in the last one or two fixtures. They will be the champions of the Serie A in, in Brazil. Flamengo played against Gremio. Both matches ended in a 2-2, but of course, you cannot take almost anything out of those games because uh, uh, Renato Gaúcho, Mengao's uh, manager, and Abel Ferreira, Palmeiras manager, they both took uh, starting 11, which they were not used on uh, on Saturday. Uh, this said, in the last few weeks, the form of Palmeiras uh, has, not been, uh, has not been very good. They lost three out of the last uh, four games, and, uh, and, and Flamengo, they started again to, to resemble the team that they, they've been during the Copa Libertadores until the semi-finals and also at the beginning of the of the of the Brasileirao. For me, they are yeah, their favorites. The only problem they have uh, is like they have like few players, important players with the uh, physical problems. One of them, Georgian Di, Di Arrascaeta, he came back after 14 games with playing because of an injury during the, the last weekend against the, the win against the Inter do Porto Alegre. He played 20 minutes. Last night he played another half an hour. It's an indication that Renato Gaúcho may use him as a starter on, on Saturday, although I cannot see that happening because it's a final, you know, you don't want to risk not having a play which is not 100%. Uh, percent. Another one is Bruno Enrique, which is... Uh, uh, Flamengo's uh, goal scorer in this Copa Libertadores. He scored already 15 goals. He scored a brace in the semi-final second leg against uh, Barcelona from from Guayaquil and he as well, he's not 100%. He haven't played in the last three games 
for for Flamengo, but still, in his case, I know for sure that he's going to play his vital for for Renato Gaúcho, and he's been training properly with the team, although he's missed some kind of like uh, uh, minutes before the the final. Another one, Pedro, who yesterday as well played the last 20 minutes, and he's not arriving in a hundred percent physical shape. But then the rest are ready to go. Dani Alves in goal, David Luiz who is again back in form. In the last seven games when he played, Flamengo only uh, conceded two times. Uh, William Arao, top form, the defensive midfielder. And then you have Everton Ribeiro. Uh, you have Mikael, who's been replacing actually uh, the Arrascaeta in a, in a great form. He's the goal scorer of Flamengo in the Brasile Irao with 14 goals. And then Edu, you have Gabi Gol. You can never forget about Gabi Gol. He has... Yeah. 21 goals in Copa Libertadores in uh, in his uh, free participations 10 goals in this edition for Gabi for Gabi goal so yes i believe Cedo Flamengo the team to to win this match and actually to see odds for Flamengo to win uh, around 2 is very good yeah actually well you mentioned uh, Bruno Enrique no he scored the four goals that uh, Flamengo scored against uh, Barcelona in the semifinals so we can check actually the outright market Flamengo to win the title is 1.61 Palmeiras to win the title is 2.25 going for the outright market the odds are higher of course we are talking only about the 90 minutes so you would take you tell me this odds uh, 2.10 for Flamengo also seen I guess, Leo, the way through this uh, final in Copa Libertadores, you mentioned how they were performing in the Brasileira, but also in this Copa Libertadores, we saw Flamengo winning all six games in the knockout stages, whereas yeah. Palmeiras, though, had uh, drawn the two games in the semifinals against Atletico Mineiro, but be careful, Palmeiras already kicked out uh, two Brazilian teams in this Copa Libertadores. Yes, they kicked out Sao Paulo and Atletico Mineiro, and when it comes to gay plan, I can see something uh, very similar against uh, Flamengo. Uh, Flamengo, which is unbeaten in this Copa Libertadores 2021, Edu. Uh, on the road to the final, Flamengo and, and Palmeiras, they average 2.67 and 2.25 goals per game, respectively. The average uh, possession in the competition for Flamengo has been almost uh, 57%, uh, whereas for, for Palmeiras, and therefore they could be a little bit more cautious but they will try to assert uh, themselves uh, on the ball and physically Palmeiras as they have shown again against Sao Paulo and Atletico Mineiro in the semi-finals they will be happy to let Flamengo have the ball and counter-attack and when we talk uh, let's talk a little bit about the goals market then uh, is normal in a final that is difficult to find good odds here. Uh, we, if yeah. we check the both teams to score, for instance, we have yes, 1.92, no, 2.0. Therefore, it's very similar, although the bookies uh, expect both teams in the score sheet. And going for the goals, we have over 2.5 goals, 2.11, under 2.5 goals, 1.93. But I guess, uh, Leo, since this is a final, we should expect a close game, especially because Palmeiras, I guess, as we saw in the semifinals, their chance to win this title is uh, closing down and locking the goal. Yes, absolutely. That's why, Edu, I, for me, on my notes, I, I went for the goals under 2.5, as you said, with odds of 1.89. Uh, which is, looks uh, quite promising because of I said no I, I expect the Palmeiras team who's gonna sit uh, deep close to to Everton uh, Flamengo is gonna dictate the play but it's gonna be difficult to break them down to break the Abel Ferreira's team and, and actually against Atletico Mineiro they score in the in the second half that vital goal that put them uh, onto the final because of the away away goals uh, rule and uh, and uh, and in the and in the match against Sao Paulo as well it was a match which uh, it opened up in the second half so again i expect uh, this final to open up in the second half so i was looking at flamengo to win the second half which comes with odds of 2.35 which again in this tight kind of finals is not bad 2.35 flamengo to win the second half 
All right, uh, Leo, and uh, everything is leading to a Flamengo victory, actually, all the stats, and also the head-to-head. -head, uh, last two times yes. uh, this season, they played uh, among themselves. Flamengo won in the Parque Allianz, 1-3, also at home, 1-0. Uh, it's nine games without defeats in this uh, Flamengo-Palmeiras. Four Flamengo, we have to go back until 2017 to see a victory of Palmeiras. So everything, even the history, the head-to-head -head is leading to a Flamengo victory. Yes, and even the the place where the game is going to be played leads to Flamengo's uh, victory. You know why? Because yes, of course, you said at the beginning it's going to be played in the Stadio Centenario in in uh, in Montevideo. It's going to be a full house. It's already sold out, even though the prices uh, have been uh, a little bit uh, a little bit up, even more than uh, Palme than Palmeiras and Flamengo face. Uh, inside the, the Brasileira, but again, it's sold out. But why I'm saying even the venue is good for, for Flamengo, because yesterday, the 23rd of November, was the 40th anniversary of Flamengo, winning their first Libertadores in 1981. That title and the Intercontinental Cup won shortly after, uh, changed the history of the club at the title and also changed the life of a few players of that generation. One of them, for example, Zico. Uh, what happened in that 1981 was well, the first final uh, was won by Flamengo, the second one by Cobreloa from Chile, both they won at home. And the third game, the replay, which was played in a neutral ground, where was it played? In the Stadio Centenario. So even the venue, again, is leading to, uh, to a Flamengo's uh, victory. And, and also the time of the year, because the second uh, Libertadores uh, was won again on the 23rd of November. That was in 2019 against River Plate in in Lima. Okay, this time does not fall on 23rd, but 27 is is close, close enough, <laughs> I think, for Mengao to keep. It's close for the Mengao to fans to dream of winning a third uh, Libertadores. So um, I believe that this. Uh, this final could be a defining moment as well for Flamengo's uh, modern history. Do they could start building a dynasty in South American football if they win two out of the last Copa Libertadores? But for that, of course, they have they need to do the, the massive homework on, on Saturday. Yeah, two titles for Flamengo, also two titles for Palmeiras. Palmeiras was able to beat uh, Santos last year in the final as i said at the beginning uh, since boca juniors no club in south america has won uh, back to back titles in uh, the copa libertadores something also against palmeiras in this final history so leo you are telling us you expect uh, not many goals under 2.5 goals you expect flamengo to win any other tip you can give us Yes, I was, you know, uh, I was looking at, at the Asian handicap, uh, Edwin, and I find it, I find it a bit tricky, you know, because um, because to get interesting odds, you have to start looking at the uh, Flamengo minus one, for example, which means that they would need to win for for two goals, but uh, but still, for those willing to go uh, at the Asian handicap market, I would look. Uh, are two things. The the first one is uh, minus 0 0.75 for Flamengo, which has odds of 2.25. So basically, if Flamengo wins by one, uh, you get half of, of the money. And the second one is an Asian handicap of zero for Palmeiras, which comes with odds of three. Okay, Asian handicap zero for Palmeiras. Uh, it means since they are the underdog that they have to win to get uh, your money and you have your stake refund if there is a draw if someone is actually thinking like palmeiras can win that could be an option so an option always going for asian handicap for the underdog but here we also think as the book is that flamengo is gonna win leo anything else you wanna tell us any other tip any other info you have ahead of this big clash in the in the copa libertadores no Edu, that's uh, that will be it i think uh, for me i expect uh, again as i said and uh, an entertaining match a close but entertaining match i think for the neutrals you have flamengo in there is is good they are a modern and uh, and fun uh, team to 
to watch uh, saying the Bordeaux is not in in great form they're gonna they're gonna put on a fight on on uh, on Saturday uh, Weberton the goalkeeper uh, is been one of the best players in in the in the year so far for for them with Gustavo Gomez in defense uh, he played 11 out of the 12 matches for for Palmeiras and he's been massive and also the captain for for Palmeiras so again I I invite all uh, all our all our viewers to 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 make sure they watch the game on uh, on Saturday is five o'clock local time in uh, in Montevideo. So again, watch this match. Uh, have a look again as many times as you need for for this video. I hope we can help you win uh, uh, some money, but should be a should be a good game and also hopefully you can make some money again. I don't expect many goals. I'm agree with you. Under 2.5, I think is something realistic for for this match. Flamengo to win with odds close to two as well sounds uh, sounds good to me. All right, Leo. Then perhaps one nil, two nil for Flamengo. This is what yes. Leo is expecting in this big final in Montevideo. Leo, as always, thanks. We've been uh, analyzing and enjoying a lot these uh, knockout stages in Copa Libertadores. And now it's time to also enjoy the final as a neutral supporter and football fan. See you, Leo. Absolutely. Thanks. See you next time. Bye bye. So Leo doesn't expect many goals in this uh, final. And of course, like the bookies, he expects uh, Flamengo to take the title home. What do you expect? What do you think about this final? Let me know as well in the comment section. And don't forget, if you enjoy our videos, press on the like button, subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications. Or also, we have a podcast for you in case you want to listen to our videos. Thanks and enjoy the final.